Today, we are going to be talking about how you can go from broke to rich in GTA 5 Online just by using Vehicle Cargo. If you're new to the game, it's a great way to get started into the business world in GTA 5 Online to make yourself millions of dollars. And if you follow the simple tricks that I'm going to tell you in this video, you can use it to your advantage and make millions of dollars super quick in this game. And then you can start expanding into different business ownership in GTA 5 to make yourself even richer and buy anything you want in the game. If you don't want to work for your money though, go check out Digazani and you guys can get 10% off every package they offer by using code Frolix. Trust me, they're a great place to get some money in GTA 5 and they're a lot cheaper than shark cards. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get it started. So first things first, if you are new to the game, you probably don't know about this, but when you buy a vehicle cargo warehouse, you can store 40 vehicles. Now there's only 32 different vehicles that you can actually store, and each of those vehicles has a few different variants, which means there's a bunch of different vehicles that you could end up getting when you actually source them. But in your warehouse, you can only hold a certain amount of vehicles that are one kind, if that kind of makes sense. So you can only hold 10 standard range, 10 mid range and 12 high range or top range making that a total of 32 vehicles then those last eight vehicles that you could store are going to be the exact same vehicles that you already have just different variants so what you guys are actually going to want to do to make a ton of money and start to become rich is obviously source top range vehicles because those you can make eighty thousand dollars profit after you pay your upgrade fees and all of that stuff which you should definitely pay if you don't know about that we'll get into it later on in the video but anyways to do this you guys are going to want to source 10 of the standard range vehicles and 10 of the mid-range vehicles and then you guys should have all 10 of those vehicles after that you'll have 20 vehicles in your warehouse and then from that point on you'll only be sourcing top range vehicles. Most likely what will end up happening is you'll have to source all 32 vehicles and then you will have 10 standard, 10 mid, and 10 top range vehicles. So at that point what you guys are going to want to do once you have 32 vehicles in your garage go inside to that little laptop and count how many you have of each class and you should have 10 of each and then 12 top range ones. At that point you guys are going to want to source 1, 2, 3, or even 4 of the top range vehicles and then just go and make some money off of them then go and source another vehicle and you'll notice it'll be top range again because the game will just automatically give you more top range vehicles so then you can have that full 12 inside your warehouse and then after that you can get different variants of the vehicles so that's what you guys want to do because the top range vehicles obviously sell for the most compared to any of the other ones that you can get and they make you the most amount of money and of course if you do have people that can work for you you can sell more vehicles at a time which will just make you more money in the long run and if you guys are ever worried about damaging the vehicles when you're selling them it's honestly not that big of a deal because I damaged a vehicle a lot and you'll see later in this video and I only got like a thousand dollars deducted which is one percent of my total profit which is literally nothing and of course I do have a ton of money but a thousand dollars really isn't worth that much of course in the long run if you constantly keep selling vehicles and damaging them for a thousand dollars in the long run you'll probably end up losing a hundred thousand dollars if you source a hundred vehicles so in all honesty it's really not that big of a deal just try not to damage the hell out of them or else you will end up losing a lot of money anyways when you guys actually have the vehicles in your warehouse, all 32 of them, you'll have the standard range, mid range, and top range. You guys never want to sell the standard and mid range vehicles. You just want to keep them there and just never touch them or look at them because you're only trying to focus on the top range ones because those will make you the money. You just need the standard range ones and mid range ones to be there so then you guys can only source top range vehicles and make sure you always have less than 32 vehicles inside your warehouse. Like I said, you'll have 10 of each and then 12 top range ones. Make sure when you're selling, you only sell the top range ones and then it'll go down to like either 30, 29, 31 or something like that. And you'll only source the top range ones after that, which is exactly what you want. Now there's also the thing called special orders and you guys can make even more money from selling these. And of course you will need different vehicles, some are standard, some are mid, and some are top range. Now if you guys have 32 vehicles inside your warehouse, you should have one of each of the vehicles. They should not be any duplicates at all inside of your warehouse. Now one of the vehicles that you need to sell let's say is a Z-type and you have a different variant of the one that you need. 
All you guys are going to want to do is just continue selling that Z-Type until you get the one you want and then move on to the next vehicle and keep doing that over and over until you have the entire collection of all the vehicles you need. And then at that point, you can go and sell them all and then you're just going to go and source some more vehicles and then do the same thing over again. Get 10 of each vehicle and 12 top range vehicles and then sell the top range ones and just keep making money like that because of course, they do make you the most amount of money. Now, in terms of who to sell to, when you're actually going to sell the vehicle, there's three different places that you can sell it to. Who cares about the other two? You only want to sell it to the specialist or the showroom dealer. I'm not really sure which one it's called, but whichever one it is, let's say it's a top range vehicle, they will offer you $100,000 for the vehicle, and then you got to upgrade $20,000 worth of modifications on it. Now, of course, you guys can do that if you want to, and you should because you'll make the most amount of money. Some of you guys probably don't want to because you'll end up spending $20,000, but when you do all the math, you'll still make more than selling it to any of the other dealers. Now, when you're actually upgrading the vehicle, you don't need to put on every single upgrade. There's gonna be like five different things that'll say you have to upgrade. You just click on one of them and then click any upgrade and then just click circle, circle, and then just confirm it and then go to the next one and do that over again. It should only take about 10 seconds to upgrade the vehicle. It'll just save you a little bit of time and make sure you tell everybody else that is working for you, whoever is selling the vehicles with you to do the exact same thing because that's what I do. And then after I'm just sitting there waiting for the other people who are selling vehicles with me to finish upgrading the cars, it just takes less time so then you guys can make money a lot faster. In terms of sourcing the vehicles, some of the missions will allow you to use a cargo bob and if you already own one then that is awesome. All you have to do is walk to the elevator in your CEO office and then spawn it in through the Pegasus concierge that you have and then boom you guys can just go and pick up the vehicle with the cargo bob. Now if you don't own one they'll make you go and find a cargo bob and then go and pick up the vehicle. It just takes a little bit more time and honestly it's just not really worth it because why waste more time if you already have one you might as well use it right because nobody else really uses cargo bobs unless you're trying to troll people in free mode so this actually puts the cargo bob to a good use but then again if you're a good driver you don't even need the cargo bob unless it's a cargo bob specific mission but if you're a bad driver and you're worried about damaging the vehicle because any damage you put on it you will have to pay for out of your own pocket so if you're not a good driver use a cargo bob if you are a good driver then just drive the vehicle and don't damage it after you deliver the vehicle when you're sourcing it, it'll be another like two minutes before you guys can actually source another vehicle. So if you guys are really on the grind to make money, during that two minutes, instead of just going and waiting back at your CEO office, what you guys can do is just start up some CEO work, like Headhunter or Sightseer, missions that only take like a few seconds to do, or call in your terabyte and do a simple job like the bank robbery one or diamond shopping, which literally takes two minutes if you have an oppressor, just so you guys are always making money instead of just sitting around waiting to source another vehicle plus if you guys are doing those missions on the side then when you actually sell the vehicle you're not technically losing any money because you already made the money back from doing those side missions which is just making it a lot better so then you guys are just constantly making money i know most people probably know about all of the stuff that i just explained in this video but if you're new to the game hopefully this did help you out or if you have been playing the game for a while and you didn't know any of the things in this video hopefully it helps you guys out as well if you did enjoy it be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and if you guys want some help in some other ways to make money i'm going to be doing more of these videos on how to maximize your profit in each of the businesses in gta 5 online so you guys can really get a lot of money for this huge update coming out later this year because if it is what rockstar is saying it's going to be the biggest update in gta history which means you're going to need a lot of money in order to buy anything in this update anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next one